Namaste, Namaskar, Vanakam, Sastriya Kal, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali, Hum Ache Hai, Kaise Hai Aap. And today we're going to be reacting to the trailer that just came out, uh, Shakara, Shakara. And um, we know this movie has been dedicated by the director, Venu Vinod Chopra, to his mother. And it's about his family story and her story uh, about the Kashmiri pundits and being kicked out of Kashmir. And um, so I, I, I'm so glad that they're making this movie. They need to make a lot more movies about some of the things that have happened in India that have been kind of swept under the table or not written in history books. Um, so I, I hope, I, I'm assuming because it's his mom's story, it's going to be as true to life as he could possibly make it. And and we know he's an amazing director. He's um, directed and um, produced a lot of really amazing movies. Three Idiots is one of them. So it's been a while since he's been the director of it, but I think this, you know, is personal. So, but I'm hoping it's an amazing story yeah. that needs to be told. Um, you know, we, we listened to Sananda's story on the UN, uh, you know, the speeches, and she talked about her family having to leave Kashmir and how she's a Kashmiri pundit. And, and just like she was like my grandfather had a knife and he was ready to kill my mom and I because it was either be killed or convert or leave. And they finally ended up leaving. But you leave your home, your family everything like and and now you're, they're like refugees in in their own country and they have no home and if they had land no land and yeah people just came in and you know made them go by force yeah you know it was either kill convert or or die and or leave and and not that that's a good but at least they left they got up and left peacefully you know there's been a lot of non-peaceful rioting and um against like the cca bill and and th this is not how things should be people shouldn't have to get up and leave their homes no. by force but when people are trying to live a peaceful life and then you're coming and throwing stones at them because you don't agree with the the bill that's being passed that's not okay either so this is one of those i'm glad these stories are being told we need more of them yeah um, you know, we've learned a few, a few other stories, but these are the things that we like to hear. We like to hear, um, based on true stories. So, um, can't wait to watch this. So let's start it up, Anji. Kuch na hone ka dukh, zara sa lage. Tere hone se, kar bara sa lage. तनावपूर्ण बनी हुई है 19 जनवरी की रात को हजारों लोग सड़कों पर उतर आए जिनमें से कुछ मिलिटेंट्स ने कई कश्मीरी पंडितों के घरों को आग लगा दी पूरे श्रीनगर में हिटलिस्ट लग गई है लिखा है कि एक महीने में कश्मीर से चले जाओ वरना गोली मार देंगे हम यहां इलेक्शन नहीं सिर्फ जंग जीत सकते हैं हजारों पंडितों को घर से बेघर कर दिया गया देखना पार्लियामेंट में कितना शोर मचेगा वहाँ कश्मीर में इतना प्यारा घर है हमारा ये गर्मी ना कश्मीर में दिखानी थी वहाँ से तो भाग के आ गए आप लोग Hey! 
जाएंगे वचन अपने वाजी साहब और यहीं पे दिल लगाएंगे यहीं मरेंगे और यहीं के पानी में हमारी राग भाई जाएगी This movie looks really good. It's yeah. very upsetting to see all these images because some of them you can tell were real, not just like the story. You know, I think the director is trying to kind of use the love story a little bit behind it to to make it like not seem Less quite intense. so bad. But I know that this was horrible. You know, they yeah, show fires and they show, you know, throwing stones and, and putting, you know, basically the, a hit list up, you know, like you're going to die if you don't leave. Um, yeah, and it's, it's terrible that people still treat people this way. It's like there's a message like treat people how you want to be treated. That's there for a reason. Yeah, that's how everybody treat somebody how you want to be treated if you want somebody you know singling you out throwing stones at you burning your house down and throwing you you out we're gonna kill you you convert we're gonna or we're gonna kill you or you leave yeah or you leave those are your three choices and so people up and left their homes and to to go to nothing they had nowhere to go yeah you know they became refugees they were living in tents they were, you know, getting food from government or people that were donating stuff. Like, and there were a lot, a lot of them. Like, yeah, just like a lot of people. Unbelievable how many people had to up and leave so that they didn't die in their own country. And and now they're a refugee in their own country. They're not leaving that country to go to another country. They left that part of India, Kashmir. That's part of India to go to another part of India to be safe. And that's not how life should be. No. Yeah. And that's not how people are treating them. No. And you, I mean, India, you know, based on secular country, you know, these, you know, different cultures, different religions, everybody living together. And then this happens. And then people like Ilian Omar are standing up on stage saying, like, you know, taking out Article 370, you know, is going to start a genocide. Where was she when this happened? Yeah. Who was calling this out when this happened? Because I didn't hear about this. Anji doesn't learn about this in school. No. So this is one of those things, like, I'm so glad they're making movies about historical stuff that really happened. And that really matters. Yeah. So I'm hoping that more of these Kashmiri pundits come out with their stories on what happened to them. You know, we need more true to life stories what happened because the stuff happens unfortunately and the truth needs to come out there and maybe being a movie it will get more worldwide attention unfortunately you know 30 years too late but um i guess better late than never so hopefully Um, maybe something will come of it. I know in the end they talk, she, she talked like as she was leaving her house, like I'm going to come back here. And right now I, I don't know if anybody could safely go back there until turmoil is, you know, and stuff kind of calms down. Yeah. But it would be nice if Kashmir became the way it used to be a secular part of India. Yeah. And this, yeah. I mean, this was, I, I think the love story kind of helped the harshness Tones of it. it down. Yeah, a little bit. Um, and I love how they said, like, love conquers, conquers hate. Conquers hate. Basically. Because, yeah. like, you know, we did that um, speech. Mm, I have no idea what her name is. Tulsi Gubbard. Yes. Thank you. I'm thinking in my head, like, you know, and she talked about. You know, that you have to have light to conquer darkness. You have to have love to conquer hate and fear. Like, there needs to be more love in the world. There needs to be no more lightness in the world. Yeah. Less terrorism, less hatred, less rock throwing. You know, people need to come together. and, And you should be able to come as many different 
religions, nationalities, colors, and all live together. Yeah. That way you can understand one another better. I think when you live in like a community when it's everybody's all the same, then you have a hard time understanding when others. When you live in a secular and multi generational, multicultural everything, you understand people a little bit better. Like, oh, that's why you do that. Yeah. And this is why I do it this way. But your way things are different nobody does everything the same way but this way I think you understand people and everybody at the end of the day is human yeah so you just have to think is this happening to my mom would this would you be okay if this happened to your sister would it be okay if this happened to your family your friends your girlfriend if your wife got picked up and taken converted and and your your you weren't allowed to keep her after you married her and she had been yours like this is stuff that shouldn't happen and hopefully Kashmir will become part of India the way it should be and yeah. and it will become a secular whole uh, as a whole a secular country um but I am like I said glad these stories are coming out and I think yeah. more of them should come out not only on the refugees but um Kashmiri pundits but there's a lot more stories of India, I think, that need to be um, unearthed. And um, if Bollywood or Tollywood or mm, any other know, woods, any other woods <laughs> um, want to come out and make some more of these true to history, you know, some of the stories that have been, you know, pushed under the table and make these movies, that would be amazing. Yeah. So. I we are we're gonna watch this definitely so and I hope you guys liked it and don't forget to subscribe and join our wonderful family and we'll see you all tomorrow bye, bye.